what is up what is up what is up youtube thanks y'all for tuning in i am back as you can see hey how y'all doing so yeah if y'all haven't already make sure you like this video leave a comment down below and of course make sure you subscribe honey period like don't do nothing else don't even finish this video if you haven't even subscribed yet like come on now what you waiting on like you just being petty at this point if you ain't subscribed but anyway i'm just kidding y'all so today we got some thick hair going on you see it you see it we, you know we're not just gonna brush over that like it's not there it's there it's in, in, it's giving it's giving she has some beautiful curls but yes we're doing a silk press on high density hair today so first i started off with a pre-poo and i make sure that i had detangled her with a um i believe i used paul mitchell's detangler first before i even shampooed her hair because she came in with a little her curls a little bit all over the place as you saw in the beginning so yeah i just proof pre-pooed her so that way once i shampoo her and um time to put the conditioner on then it wouldn't be so like tangly like if you shampooing some nappy hair or some very tangled hair you're gonna have a hard time detangling it once you put the conditioner in but yeah so i started off first the first shampoo was my redkins um their clarifying shampoo which is their hair cleansing cream and then now i am going in with my care care um their dry itchy scalp um shampoo is their blue line and then i will go in one more shampoo with the care cares hydrating shampoo and then finish her off with a little bit of conditioner and i'm gonna gently detangle her out so you would see all that now and look at her hair her hair really made a whole lot of suds either that or i used a little bit too much shampoo hmm. oh well oh well but yes so i'm just gonna rinse all this out and then uh, then i'll put the um conditioner on and she will sit under the dryer for 20 minutes for a good old deep conditioning treatment like yes if you're doing a silk press and not giving them no deep conditioner or a hydrating treatment then what is you doing baby like no no ma'am no ham no turkey no bacon now i told y'all once and i'm gonna tell y'all again i'm pescatarian so i don't need none of that i'm just kidding <laughs> but yeah um so you hear um, I'm going in and just uh, gently detangling her hair with the conditioner on and then I did notice like once I was detangling at the top that she do have a little bit of curl elongation or a little bit of um, I wouldn't say well it could be heat damage it could be a little bit of heat damage you know from sew-ins and having that leave out at the top because the top of your hair is very sensitive like that's the most like most fragile hair on your head like if you notice that you have looser curls at the top that's because your your the top of your hair is very very sensitive and very fragile to like heat and all that because that's what's mostly out but yeah um as you can see here her hair is coming out with ease because i detangled her prior to this shampoo so it's not going to take that it's not that hard to comb all this hair out and uh yeah you can see there where it's kind of her hair is kind of longer right there in that front section yeah but she has some pretty curls though but you can see it's a little bit looser right here up there at the top so yeah i'm just gonna part her and um not part her but just um what am i trying to say i'm just gonna plait her hair up in like four sections and then um, put a plastic cap on her and then she will be under the dryer for 20 minutes yes 20 minutes honey but yeah so if you haven't already definitely make sure you go follow me on instagram at Brie michelle beauty where you can see all my uploads you know all the posts and whatnot and then you can also see the same thing on my facebook just add me on facebook or follow my uh, business page on facebook i would greatly appreciate that and you know we can just follow each other you know like why not why not i'm gonna tell y'all again y'all being real petty if y'all not i'm just kidding 
I'm just kidding y'all like don't take me serious like please don't take me serious because I just be kidding but now we are at the blow drying process I already rinsed her conditioner out and now she's here look at all her curls like her hair is like super thick like it's like it's 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 thick not thick but it's very dense that's what it is we're not saying thick thick when you saying you have thick hair let me tell y'all this real quick if you're saying you have thick hair, thick hair is only like if you pull one strand from your head and you put, you rub your fingers across it, that's what you can tell if your hair is thick or thin or normal. That's the only way you call, you say thick hair. But if it's just, hmm, if it's a lot of hairs on your head, then that's just the density. Like you can have thin hair, but still, have like it's still a lot of thin hairs that's the th the density but your hair can be really thin and have you know oh well, your hair can be really thick but you don't have a lot of hair so the density is not there but she has some high density hair so we're just gonna go in and blow dry this out making sure you really start like at the roots and get her roots really dry and then you just want to make sure you keep on going until it's silky smooth like the key to a good press is a good blow dry period like period but yeah i'm just blow drying her hair and uh, we just gonna rock this out you know and i'll see y'all in the next step well before we go to the next step disclaimer just a little disclaimer i did not color uh, my client's hair I guess she did this color like a long time ago on her own so you kind of see how it's just a little bit of imperfections within her color um, I, I don't really you know I offer my services but if they don't want to get it colored then hey that's them like you wouldn't want to pay no money that you don't plan on paying you know anything or you don't want any services done that you're not paying for or you didn't agree to so i'm not going to stress that on people i do mention it like hey we can kind of just get this color together if you like that'll be a better outcome but if they oppose it then they oppose it like you can't force nobody i'm not putting no gun up to nobody's head and just you know you about to get this color no baby so she would you will see some imperfections within the color it wasn't i didn't do it this color this is actually my first time doing this client so um yeah but hey what could you do but um yeah i will definitely be back on the next section or let me see actually you know i think i'll just sit here and stall a little bit because i'm about to come up to another screen where i'm going to show you all when i'm done blow drying and it's going to be in five four three two one uh, look at all that hair look at all that hair oh my gosh so now I'm just going in and I will be snatching them edges, baby. You need to snatch them edges. Like, stop playing. Like, you don't want no straight hair. And you got some curly edges and baby hairs. And, you know, uh-uh. We need it straight all year round. All the way around. So, yeah, I'm just going in with my little H2 Pro little, um little mini flat irons and now i'm just getting her part together she likes to do a middle part so we're gonna get her right we're gonna get her right we're gonna get her right so now i'm just tip spinning her around and now it's just about time to flat iron her so i section her off in three sections part her from ear to ear at the top and then just get it together in the back and today i will be using the um my babyliss i believe it's one one and a quarter one and a quarter um size iron i believe so i love these irons you can do so much with just these irons like you can you can get you don't have to do so many small sections you can really take like the widest section you can like yeah i believe that's one no it might be one and a half i believe these are one and a half yeah that's a one and a half um one and a half inch flat irons but yeah and one pass you guys you guys you guys you only need like one pass to go down here for it to be straight like that's what i was saying the blow dry is the main key that's where you're getting all the most of your straightness from is the blow dryer 
like the blow dryer is gonna is really is what's prepping you before you flat iron it and so you don't need to go over her hair like five different times just to get it straight because if you see that it didn't do anything the first time it's not gonna do it the second time so there's no point of putting all that extra heat causing heat damage on her hair like no there's no need for all of that so yeah just take it section by section i probably just need two subsections from one part you know um because these flat irons are definitely that wide and that long that it can cover pretty much half her head so i don't have to keep on going three different sections on each row just to flat iron it but yeah my hair is getting silky yes like period but yeah i will definitely see y'all in the next um in the next scene because i'm done you know babbling right now so i'll see y'all when it's time for the next when it's time to trim her really yeah i'll see y'all when it's time to trim all right sticky her hair is and look at that shine baby only healthy hair shines like period and now it's time to trim her hair as you see um her hair tends to i guess she's been getting her hair trimmed in that u shape i really don't like doing a u shape but i just had to follow what she already had because you know her ends were really that bad in that sh in that same shape so i couldn't really leave anything there because i like to cut what must go but i i, I also do like to let them know let my clients know where exactly they need it or where i can let them pass by like for today and she agreed on where it actually needs to go so i like to you know be very transparent with my clients on how much needs to be cut and um show them where it'll be and all of that good stuff but yeah as you can see she has that definitely that u shape going on in there and um i'm probably gonna be cutting off probably I believe like two inches today yeah maybe about two inches and I definitely hate going in this U shape but that's where all her split ends like that's how it's formed or I believe that's probably how somebody been cutting her hair before but I like straight all the way around like blunt not blunt but you know because if you're doing that U shape it tends to be like shorter in the front than it is in the back and that's like no but here you can see the importance of a good trim like look at that you can see where this healthy all where i already cut and then you can just see where you see through the hair that's where it's dead hair like if you can see through it then it's dead so get rid of it period like period but yeah i'm just gonna go in and keep on um trimming her hair starting off with just her um outline for her lengthwise and then i will go in and um pull the hair up and cut within the interior of her hair to make sure those split ends are no longer so yeah just sit back and relax and if you made it this far thank you for continuing to watch me work you know i love to uh, you know see 
who's been here from the beginning who's been watching it all the way through so if you could just leave you know let's leave the emoji with the scissors like the girl getting her hair cut let's leave some of those emojis down and yeah and let's let's just rock it out you know leave a good old comment like this video definitely subscribe 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 and also you know i haven't said this but share it you know send it to a friend and then tell that friend to send it to another friend and then maybe they can send it to a couple more friends so yeah let's get this going all the way around the world baby period uh So now I done, um, I'm bumping her ends just a little bit so she wouldn't be like super duper like just straight. You know, just give a little, just a little under, you know, bump it under a little bit. And I apply some edge control and now I'm just combing her out and just seeing all that silky goodness. Her hair is flowing, baby. And now it's time for her reveal. And look at it, it's just so cute and looking so healthy and shiny. But yes, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching and tuning in. This is her final result. Yes, baby, we need to get that color done soon. But yes, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.